you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos for your love for your support i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel guys if you have never heard someone having luck on online dating apps then it is this beautiful Ghanaian sister of ours by the name of Nana who found love on online dating apps after four days of joining. Wow! <laughs> and the story worked out. That is why we are here today. But I'm not going to talk only of how she was lucky on online dating apps. Oh, guys, because I have got a lot of things to share with you in this story yes and another thing is that nana found love yes on online dating apps after four days of joining but found love with a guy who is way way older than her so my dear beautiful ladies who have been on online dating apps then you get messages from guys who are older than you but you'll be like no i can't give him a chance no what will other people think no i still want to find that young guy <laughs> and then you decide to ignore that mature guy nana has got a very good advice to you all <laughs> that are in such kind of a situation to add on that guys what i'm going to be talking about in today's love story or what i'm going to be sharing with you guys is nana's journey after finding love online what happened because there was some afro cinemas <laughs> yeah without forgetting guys her past love relationship experience and as a single lady out there searching for love whether on online dating apps or in real life you have got a lot to learn from Nana's past love relationship experience. Isn't this story juicy, guys? <laughs> yes, of course, it is very, very juicy. So without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story. Before I forget, guys, I remember Nana coming to me last year may <laughs> to ask for some advice from me she was facing a certain challenge with the one <laughs> that married her but at that time was just an american guy that she had just met on online dating apps so i advised her and from that time i didn't hear from her till october this year when she came back and was like bella i'm here to thank you do you remember me <laughs> and yes of course i told her i still remember you so i was like my story was a successful one and right now i am in america with my man thank you so much for the advice and also for your videos on youtube <laughs> i was really really happy for her and i told her if you're okay share your love story so that is how i got to get this beautiful blind dating success love story i am going to be sharing with you nana's love story in details so get ready grab a glass of wine a glass of water <laughs> some juice popcorns enjoy this beautiful love story of our beautiful nana from ghana so guys let us begin nana's story nana is ghanaian like i told you 28 years old and we are going to be starting her love story by digging a little bit deep into her past love relationship experience 
Like you know, guys, I always ask ladies that share their beautiful love stories with us about their past love relationship experiences so that we get to know where someone came from and why she decided to join online dating apps like what pushed her. So when I asked Nana if she has ever dated a Ghanaian guy was like, Bella, yes. Actually, not one Ghanaian guy, no. I dated three Ghanaian guys at different times, guys. <laughs> not all at once. And right now we are going to be starting with her first love relationship experience with a Ghanaian guy like her first relationship how was it like how did it go and what do we have to learn from that because I'm not just here <laughs> to do these stories for gossip no it is for us to learn I repeat so Nana tells us her first relationship at first yes it was really really good because yeah every guy <laughs> <laughs> no matter good, no matter bad, when the relationship begins for him to win you, of course, he has to pretend. <laughs> so if you're not careful, yes, that's when you find yourself in the hands of a toxic guy. If you don't know how to read them, the red flags, yes. So Nana dated this Ghanaian guy, all was good at first, but later on, this guy turned out to be very abusive. Nana tells you that he could beat a hell out of her. Even she has got an injury on her left arm due to how that guy was really, really abusive. So it became too much and Nana decided to end the relationship tells us it wasn't easy even to leave that guy. Another thing with toxic guys, it's not all that easy to leave them because you leaving them, no matter how they are abusive, no matter how they are toxic to you, for them, it's a disrespect. You have to remain with him and you the torture until he gets tired of you and decides to be the one to leave you but i'm so happy that nana was courageous enough to leave this toxic guy though it was too late i am saying it was too late for nana to leave this guy because they dated for two good years it's not that this guy raised his hands on nana only once and she left him no he kept on beating her beating her until it became too much guys for me you raise your hands once on me that's the end of our relationship yes i won't wait you beat me the second time the third time no because the more you keep on enduring the torture of this guy the more you give him more power to keep on torturing you and the more it keeps on going because you are entertaining him by accepting his tortures the beating it will keep on getting worse yes it's not that it's gonna be better no it keeps on getting worse that is why i've been advising you my dear beautiful ladies never accept a guy to abuse you whether it is verbally physically or mentally never ever because guys the truth is that is not love someone who loves you will never beat you up someone who loves you will never put injuries on you someone who truly loves you will never abuse you someone who loves you will never want to see you cry so if you are with a guy and all the time you cry he hurts you maybe due to the words that he tells you. He hurts you maybe mentally. He hurts you physically. End that relationship. Toxic guys always be like they are the best thing that could have happened to you. If you leave them, your life is over. If you leave them, you will never ever find a guy like him. That's not true, my dear beautiful ladies. There is a guy out there who will love you truly, who won't want to see you stressing, who will never want to see you crying, okay? So please, please, if you are in a toxic relationship, 
take that courage to walk away just like how nana did it and right now she is living her best life so after nana's first relationship ending she found another Ghanaian guy they dated later on came to find out that the guy was a liar guy was a womanizer was a cheater oh my god <laughs> couldn't bear and ended that relationship then found the third <laughs> Ghanaian guy they started dating oh my god this guy was super good never raised his hands on her never abused her in any way and Nana in her mind was like I have found the one so they kept on dating guys and sadly <laughs> i know my african brothers are gonna be so angry at me but the truth is you guys are so good at pretending yes <laughs> an african guy when he wants something from you he can really pretend my african ladies you who have got enough experience dating african guys you are going to agree with me yes so nana at first yes this guy was very respectful he never you know raised his hands on her but later on as the relationship kept on going this guy started disrespecting nana in front of her friends in front of his friends it was really a lot and another thing that was really bad about this guy he was still communicating with the ex-girlfriend so nana tells us after seeing the disrespect after seeing this guy keeping in contact with the ex-girlfriend had to sit down with him and tell him i don't like this you can't disrespect me plus i suspect you're cheating on me with your ex-girlfriend this guy said no it's not true and they broke up so after breaking up later on the guy returned was like i'm sorry please forgive me i am going to change and poor nana fell into his trap accepted to get back with him so it was like that like they could fight then break up then get back together if you see that it's a red flag a relationship like that will never ever work out trust me because it has already started with a wrong foot yes but nana didn't have any of that experience kept on dating that guy and was crazily in love with him she tells us i was really into that guy so guys yes the relationship kept on going until december 2021 during christmas so on christmas day here comes afro cinema <laughs> yeah so on christmas day nana went to work and after work they had planned that she's going to spend her night at her boyfriend's place so that is how it went she went to work and then after work traveled to her boyfriend's place after arriving all was good the boyfriend was so happy to see her they spent their christmas night together in nana's mind she was so at peace you know no worries about her relationship but on her boyfriend's side this guy had totally different plans that Nana didn't know. So in the next morning, that is when the boyfriend started telling her, you know what, Nana, I'm going to be away for some time. I have to hang out with my family, you know, and my siblings. So I can take you along. And after Nana hearing that was like, cool no problem so when she was telling me this i had to ask her this question why didn't he take you along was the family not aware of you <laughs> no bella i knew his family and his family knew me and also he knew my family and my family knew him <laughs> yeah but it wasn't all that serious like you know when you go at your in-laws place <laughs> maybe to spend a weekend or christmas period no it had not arrived to that extent or that level 
But mind you, they were in a relationship of five years. Five years, guys. Not one year or six months. Five good years. But Nana didn't take that as a big deal. Was like, cool, go spend time with your family. And Nana left, returned at her parents' place after that visit from the boyfriend and left the boyfriend preparing to go. So after that Christmas day, passed two days without Nana hearing from the boyfriend. <laughs> and then he contacted her. So when he contacted her, was asking her if she needs something. Nana was like, yes, I'm in need of money. <laughs> you can send me some money to spend with my friends. You know, it's Christmas period. <laughs> Time to enjoy, hang out with your friends, with your family. Yeah. So the boyfriend was like, I cannot send you the money, but I'm going to ask my friend to be the one to send you the money. Then Nana was like, why? Why would you ask your friend? That is when the guy was like, I am not in Ghana. I am in Maldives. Oh my God. Nana was shocked. Like, how could you go to Maldives without me? Why didn't you tell me that you are going to Maldives? But he was like, babe, don't worry. I'm going to make it up to you when I come back to Ghana. <laughs> and yeah, she again fell into his trap. So they could do video calls, you know, him showing her around, you know, in the hotel at Maldives, you know, to calm her down that don't worry, I am alone. <laughs> I'm not doing anything bad behind your back. So yes, one month passed and this guy returned back to Ghana. So after returning back to Ghana, he said to organize a trip in one of the beautiful resorts in Accra, Ghana, and take Nana with him, you know, <laughs> by occasion. <laughs> so yes, they went on that by occasion. All was good. Nana was happy, enjoying. And then one night, the boyfriend slept earlier than her. So as the guy was sleeping, you know, women's intuition. I've always told you that. <laughs> always follow your intuition. It will never go wrong. If it pushes you to do something, do it. If it pushes you not to do something, don't do it. So back to Nana's story. So her intuition told her to take the boyfriend's phone and she knew his password. <laughs> so she took the phone, followed her intuition, you know, put in the password and started reading his messages. Guess what she found out? She found out that this guy was still in contact with the ex-girlfriend. Plus, when he went to Maldives, went with the ex-girlfriend because she saw the photos of the two of them enjoying in Maldives. So he stayed two weeks in Maldives and do you know where else he went? <laughs> he also went to Dubai. Tanzanians will call it Dubai. <laughs> so he went to Dubai too. Two weeks stayed there with his ex-girlfriend. And after that one month, of lots of enjoyments, lovey Davi with the ex-girlfriend returned back to Ghana and took Nana <laughs> to a resort in Accra. Oh my God. Some guys can be really cruel. Very. So after seeing those messages and the photos, she felt so bad, but again, couldn't wake up the boyfriend and start fighting. It was late at night and also tells us she does not know how she coped till morning. Really, she doesn't know how she survived that night. You know, guys, when you are blindly in love with a guy, I think you can understand Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Only ladies can understand her. Because <laughs> in most cases, we become mumus in love. <laughs> so here, Nana was a total mumu <laughs> in love. <laughs> I 
that is why you know her heart was beating very fast at night <laughs> like it wants to you know explode so in the morning that is when she decided to confront him and when she confronted him this guy did not deny it was like yes i was with her in maldives and dubai but i am very very sorry i didn't mean to hurt you so yes they exchanged words nana was really really bad like bad 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 feeling so bad feeling betrayed you know cheated on oh my goodness and after that this guy had to take her back to her parents house you know the vacation is over and ended really badly so she arrived at her parents house and in the evening received a message from this boyfriend a message that changed nana's life forever yeah because the message this guy sent to nana was a breakup message and told her that I am very, very sorry. I can't continue a relationship with you because I am in love with my ex-girlfriend. Mm. Guys, it hurts. I've been there. <laughs> Not exactly her situation, but I've been there whereby I dated a guy. I didn't know he had a fiancé. And then I came to find out that he had a fiancé. I had to tell him, remain with your fiancé. But it's not that it didn't hurt me. It was hurting me to the core. Yes. Because you thinking that there is another woman, you know. Enjoying with a man that you thought will be your future husband it really hurts a lot and it brings a woman's self-esteem down very very low you ask yourself lots of questions maybe i am ugly what is wrong with me what is that something that i don't have that the other lady has it yeah it hurts it hurts it hurts and nana tells us it was the biggest heartbreak all her life. She suffered a lot, could cry all day long, reached to an extent of resigning. She had to quit her job because couldn't work, couldn't do anything. This happens when you truly love someone, when you plan lots of things with someone. But what they do? they backstab you so this lady was at her worst place in her life tells us cried for two good months yeah about this heartbreak but guys i've got an advice to you all if you find yourself in such kind of a situation never cry for a guy that is not crying for you because for me guys after everything that i've been through i can confidently sit here and tell you that do not cry for a guy who cannot cry for you because if this guy had an audacity of leaving you for another woman why should you cry for him because nana was crying nana had to quit her job but on the other side did this guy cry so much for nana for two months after the breakup no, he was happy enjoying with the ex-girlfriend after breaking up with Nana. So why should Nana waste her time, quit her job just because of a guy who does not deserve her? Guys, if you love me, I will love you back. But if you don't love me, there is no need for me to force myself on you to love me there is no need for me to keep on you know fighting so that you can learn to love me no <laughs> when a man doesn't love you he will never ever love you so at the moment nana found out that this guy was still in contact with the ex was supposed to end that relationship simple as that because it was clear this guy was still in love with the ex but using nana you know to get the goodies because <laughs> that's the most important thing a guy who is a womanizer a guy who is a player cares about <laughs> so he will keep on being with you so that he can keep on getting the 
goodies <laughs> yes so no need guys don't quit your job because of the guy he broke your heart and now is breaking your life because your job means a lot <laughs> you need to have financial freedom as a woman so don't ever play with that and another thing my dear beautiful ladies let us stop fighting the destiny because this guy yes was a womanizer he chose the ex-girlfriend but the truth is he was not destined to be with her he didn't deserve nana as beautiful as she is <laughs> Yeah, so no matter how she cried, no matter how she had to quit her job, did it help the guy to come back? No, he did not come back simply because they were not destined to be together. So if anything happens, especially you who are still on online dating apps searching, you are chatting with a guy, everything seems good and all of a sudden he goes to you. All of a sudden, you know, you hear him has married another lady, let's say in Uganda, or has married a Tanzanian lady or a Nigerian lady. Don't cry. If I am you, I am going to go back to online dating apps and start searching because we are not destined to be together. So let us stop fighting the destiny by crying, you know, over these guys. If it didn't work out, it did not work out. Okay. <laughs> Gain your power, dear beautiful ladies. You are beautiful. And of course, one day you'll find a guy who will love you the way you are. He will not ghost you. He will never tell you words to hurt you. So that is how Nana's three relationships with Ghanaian guys ended. Ended really, really badly. Right now, we are laughing about it. You know, we are learning a lot from it. But this lady really suffered. As I was preparing to do this love story, something came into my mind. You know, thinking of her past love relationship experience, thinking of how she cried bitterly, I think God had her prayers, yes, cause her joining on online dating apps, four days then finding the one, it is only God. God had this lady's tears. So no matter how a situation can be really bad right now as I am talking, maybe your past love relationship experience or what you're going through now, just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Just like how it happened to Nana, it can also happen to you. Because even me, at the time I was so heartbroken, at the time everything was like, have reached me here. <laughs> I was about to give up. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. So we are getting this too from Nana's story. So now to her online dating journey. It's so beautiful. Let's get into it. So guys, after that bad heartbreak that Nana got, tells us hard to heal. Yes, took time to heal. And after feeling that she is now okay, you know, to fall in love again, tells us had a friend who was dating a white guy and then had to go on TikTok, you know, watch TikTok videos, came across a video of a lady who was talking about online dating apps. That lady shared five online dating apps, but for Nana, decided to choose only two dating apps to try out fast and kept on seeing lots of videos ladies you know who have found love on online dating apps dating white guys and she was like hmm, okay let me keep on trying and see what will happen who knows so these two dating apps that she decided to try out the first one is afro introductions yes so she tried out afro introductions but didn't like it that much then tried out the second dating app that i'm going to be sharing with you 
before I end this video. <laughs> Those who always wait for the name of the dating app, you're going to be hating me now. <laughs> Yeah, but you have to watch the video till the end so that you get the tips, the tricks, and in the end, get the name of the dating app so that when you are there searching, you are on the safer side. You just don't go and start, you know, chatting with losers without knowing. <laughs> yeah, so this other dating app where Nana found love tells us she really liked it because they were asking lots of questions. You know, to be sure, she is a real person, you know, opening that account. So she really liked that and, and was like, I think this dating app is serious. So started her journey, guys. <laughs> was it so easy in those four days? No. How can her journey be easy on online dating app? <laughs> It wasn't because she met lots of people who were there to play games, people asking to see her boobs, people asking to see what her mama gave her, people that could call her and, you know, at the moment she opens the camera, they are there with their eggplants, you know, <laughs> in the movement. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, that is the darkest side of online dating apps yeah and that's why i always talk about that i talk of the good and the bad side of dating apps so nana came across that and at that time too had known my youtube channel so could watch the videos and then compare with her experience on online dating apps things that she's coming across so tells us could ignore those guys never even give them her time and they didn't make her give up no she kept on moving forward tells us was like if i am real and i am here searching for love i know in here exists another real man that is searching for a real woman so let me keep on searching until i come across him so that is what helped nana to keep on searching did not stop at guys who were asking her for nude photos did not stop at guys who were there to waste time you know players so another thing is that Nana paid for that dating app. Tells us paid $25 for one month and was really serious. <laughs> was always online, you know, be there searching. Never paid and then be like, ah, I'm busy with work. I can't search. No, she paid and became serious searched and searched and searched the fourth day came across a message from this mature american guy so before i continue with the story i know i've been discouraging you from paying for dating apps and my reason i will keep on standing for it yes because <laughs> nana paid and the boyfriend was paying you know it's not that nana paid and the boyfriend wasn't paying no so if you decide to pay and be like oh bella no for me i feel like i want to pay if you decide to pay go chat with guys that are paying on a dating app don't pay for a dating app and go chat with guys that are not paying on a dating app Please, please, my dear beautiful ladies. One last thing about this. If you decide to pay, don't be like, Bella said, okay, we should pay, chat with men who have paid. That means I'm going to find the one. No, guys, it's not a guarantee. But if in your heart you are like, I want to take the risk, take that risk, keeping it in mind that it might happen, it might not happen. But chat with the guy that is paying on that dating app it's important so yes guys this american guy told nana that he has got a son never married you know <laughs> was just in a relationship with the mother of his son and then it happened that she got pregnant <laughs> after enjoying the goodies so yeah <laughs> the baby came he raised his son and later on the ex 
found another man, got married, moved on. But the ex was still in his life because he is the mother of his son. To you ladies that are chatting with guys that have got kids and their exes are still alive, you have to understand the relationship between these two cannot die. I'm not saying a love relationship, no. The parenting relationship. She will always be important to him because she is the mother of the son. Keep it in your mind. <laughs> That is how things are on this side. But the good thing is that when they decide to go separate ways, they really go separate ways when it comes to love. So don't be like, maybe there is that one day that will come and they start enjoying the goodies. <laughs> like how we are used to in Africa? No, <laughs> it will never happen. <laughs> But that friendly relationship, parenting relationship, will remain there. Yeah, yeah. So this guy told Nana that the most important people close to him is the son and the mother's son. Attention did not introduce Nana immediately to the son. I've got another tip for you guys here, but I'm planning to do a video to talk about the introduction thing because I've been coming across lots of situations whereby if I was not there to guide the lady I was going to lose the guy just because of the introduction situation you guys always have to remember that you are on online dating apps it's not that you have met this guy in real life so if the guy is serious and you are serious, the worries that you are going to have towards that guy that you are chatting to, the guy too will have same, same worries. Like, I hope she's not a scammer. I hope this girl really loves me. I hope things can work out. I hope we are compatible. You know, lots, lots of questions and lots of worries. Yes, guys, this is how it is. I told you I'm also coaching men. So I understand <laughs> how it is on their side too. So you can't start chatting with a guy. He is not sure yet if your relationship will work. If you guys are compatible, he is not even sure of the way you behave, the way you carry yourself. Are you a woman he would like to be with for the rest of his life? Not yet sure. He's still on the way to discover that, to get to know that. So he can't go ahead and start creating another relationship or another bond introducing you to the son. Cause in most cases I've seen if a guy has got a little kids, <laughs> Introducing you to the kids, that means the kids are going to be attached to you. You know, they start loving you. They create a sort of a bond. So if he's not sure, why bring you close to the kids? And when things don't work out, you know, he comes to find out you are incompatible. Then he hurts the kids. It does not make sense. That is why you see in most cases, they take some time before introducing you to people that are so important in their lives. So everything was going really, really good between them, but happened an Afro cinema. <laughs> and that's when Nana came to me to ask for an advice. Yes, it happened that this American guy asked for nude photos yeah this is a second case guys <laughs> of men asking for nude photos and then turn out to be the one yeah so this guy asked nana's nude photos and nana came to me was like bell i don't know what to do <laughs> advise me is this guy serious <laughs> and i was like girl First of all, do not send your nude photos to this guy. Tell him, no, I cannot send you my nude photos. 
but do not block him. Because guys, the answer, you will get it after refusing to send the nude photos. If this guy was after the nude photos, he's going to block you and move to the next girl that will accept to be sent nude photos. But if this guy really loves you, you know, his love goes beyond seeing your goodies. <laughs> He's going to stay. Yeah. But it's a red flag that you really need to be so careful about. Okay. Because on online dating apps exist these maniacs <laughs> that are there to fantasize, you know, have erotic charts and that's it. So you have to respect yourself enough not to send your nude photos i talk a lot but some situations bring out things that i have been seeing with ladies online <laughs> yeah another example recently i'm not going to mention her name there is a lady who wants to share her love story with me right now has found the one she's married already but still in her country doing the process to join the husband but before was chatting with a guy and because this guy was so good at manipulating her and making her believe that he loves her so much she was in love too sent the guy her nude photos Yes, but unfortunately, this guy is using that to torture her, you know, mental torture. Because the guy has known now that the lady has got another white guy and is married. So now he's like, you know, to revenge because it's the lady that ended the relationship after this guy. She saw a toxic guy in him and decided to leave him. But he does not want to accept that because he's a toxic guy. <laughs> they don't want to be left. They want to be the one to leave you. So he is now telling her, I am going to expose your nude photos all over the internet. So when I asked her, she was like, yes, Bella, I was so in love with him. I thought he was going to be my husband and I sent him my nude photos. That was a big mistake. I'm here to tell you again, never, ever send your nude photos to any man if he does not want to continue a relationship with you just because you can't send him nude photos be it you will find a guy who will chat with you he won't care he will wait until he sees you in person do the right thing get married to you and get to see those goodies <laughs> at the right time <laughs> yeah so let's learn from this i gave you this an example for you to learn so nana listened to me and told the guy no i am not going to send you my nude photos waited for the response the guy was like okay if it is what is going to make you believe that i am the real guy then I am not going to ask you nude photos anymore. Let us keep on getting to know each other. So they kept on getting to know each other. And Nana tells us after two months, this guy sent money to her. It was $500 <laughs> and she was happy. Never asked for that money, but he just decided to spoil her. So guys, the relationship kept on going strong. They were crazily in love with each other took to loads lots of things on video calls chats had good good plans and then it came a day whereby this american guy decided to propose to her on a video call <laughs> but he didn't have a ring she said yes was super super happy of course was in love already yeah so after proposing this american guy sent an engagement ring to Ghana. Oh my God. When the engagement ring arrived, Nana was super happy. And the ring was so beautiful. She was even shocked. And it was really expensive because in the box had even the receipts <laughs> of how much he bought it. Nana at that time, believed that oh yes i have finally found the one so after the engagement that was after seven months of them 
communicating, getting to know each other, he introduced Nana to his son. His son was so happy for them and then had to tell the mother of the son. <laughs> I told you, she's there in his life. So when she heard about that, was like, no Africans, scammers, no, I don't trust her. Maybe she is there with you because of your money, you know? <laughs> started feeding him you know negative thoughts he stood on his grounds <laughs> yeah and i'm so happy for that i was like no you gotta get to know her and then judge her she's such a wonderful lady and i really want to marry her so they continued with their relationship started talking of meeting so at first this american guy nana's fiance wanted her to go to america she told him why can't you come he was like no i cannot come because of my job <laughs> but nana tells us for her she thinks it's because of what the mother of his son told her about africa you know the scammer and maybe even <laughs> talked bad about African countries when it comes to security. So he was not all that convinced to go to Ghana first, but Nana did a very good job. Had to talk to him, assure him that Ghana is a safe country, and also told him it is going to be very difficult for her to be given the visa to go to America. And eventually <laughs> was convinced and decided to be the one to go to Ghana so that they can get married traditionally, you know, the cultural marriage. But before he went to Ghana, had to introduce him to her family. <laughs> and it wasn't easy, guys. So as with her mother, her mother understood and supported her. But when it comes to her uncle, oh my God, it was so, so hard, difficult for the uncle to accept because Nana's fiancé is way, way more older than her. Like I told you guys when I started this video. So the uncle was like, no, you can't get married to an old guy like that. No, 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 no. But Nana was like, you know what, uncle? Yes, he is old, but I am happy with him. Yes, he is old, but I love him. I want to get married to him. He has got everything that I ever wanted in a man. And eventually, the uncle had to accept and bless their relationship. So guys, before I continue, what does this teach us? It teaches us that it's not always easy as it might seem. We see on his side, he had some obstacles and on her side too had some obstacles that when you guys are so much in love with each other, you can conquer whatever obstacle that may come your way. So guys, after being accepted by Nana's family, this American fiancé traveled to Ghana for the first time. Nana tells us, was at the airport, you know, waiting for him. He arrived, they hugged so tightly. That airport hug. <laughs> yeah, they were really, really happy to see each other. And after that, they went to the hotel where he had booked. And now I know you want to know <laughs> about the goodies. <laughs> If Nana shared the goodies that first night, <laughs> yes, of course, she shared her goodies because this guy had gone to Ghana to marry her <laughs> for their traditional marriage. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, they enjoyed the goodies that night. It went so good. <laughs> So the next day went to see her parents. They welcomed him very, very well and had brought lots of gifts for Nana, for the family. Oh my God. And you know, as Africans with gifts, you know, <laughs> when you come to visit, if you are a white guy watching this or a black guy watching this, not from Africa, <laughs> come with gifts. Okay. <laughs> you are going to win us. <laughs> 
Yeah, so he brought lots of gifts, all went well. They also talked about the bride price which he paid, then started preparing for their traditional marriage. Their traditional marriage day came. Nana was so happy because after everything that she has been through in love, eventually she is getting married. You know, you feel so good. <laughs> Some people be like, you ladies act like you have won something. <laughs> but yo, the struggle is real that most ladies go through in the name of love. So when you find the one, and yes, you have to be happy. <laughs> so Nana was super happy that day. The parents were very happy for her. Friends, family came for the celebration. You know, they got married and it went super, super good. It was the most important day in Nana's life. So as they were talking, you know, about the visa process, Nana heard from people saying that, for someone to increase her chances to be granted an American visa, you need to have travel experience. And for Nana's case, did not have any experience in traveling because had never traveled outside Ghana. So after talking to the husband, then the husband was like, don't worry, I'm going to send you money for you to take a vacation, go to South Africa, have that travel experience that people are talking about what does this tell us to someone else it might seem normal okay for me guys this guy represents a man who is ready to do anything in order to be with you yes and when you find a guy like that guys you have got a great guy a guy who can take sacrifices just for you and that is called true love i've seen lots of relationships failing just because a guy is not ready to fight whatever challenge comes he chooses to disappear he chooses to abandon everything he chooses to give up so yes guys he sent her the money yes to go on a vacation nana was so happy traveled to south africa that first time enjoyed so so much in south africa and then after her trip returned back to ghana they kept on you know preparing for all the documents needed for her to be granted the visa and eventually got her appointment <laughs> oh my god for the visa and this happened 19th of September 2023 this year that is when Nana went to the American Embassy for her interview and was granted her visa you know to go to America reunite with her husband so yes after getting the visa called the husband the husband was so happy and yeah started preparing for her trip eventually traveled to america arriving couldn't believe it like oh my god i can't believe it that i am in america i have come to live with the love of my life yeah of course he was at the airport to pick her he was so happy to reunite again and then went home <laughs> The rest is history. They're living their happily ever after. Yes, God is good. <laughs> so guys, their next plan, they're going to have their white wedding in America, January 2024. And when it happens, I am going to be sharing with you their wedding photos. I might share them on my Instagram or I will bring them here on YouTube whether here where I do the videos or on the community post. But for sure, I will update you on that so that we get to enjoy the wedding photos and videos. Yeah. <laughs> so all I can say, congratulations to you, Nana and your husband. I wish you all the best in your marriage. Guys, let us wish them all the best in their marriage. So guys, to the big question. Which dating app or the name of the dating app where Nana found this American husband? <laughs> Nana found him 
on a dating app i've shared this dating app before this is my i don't know third time the name of the dating app is called afro romance all real and i have seen this dating app really working so good with my Ghanaian sister if you remember dina dina found the love of her life on surreal afro romance yeah and they got married last saturday we have another wedding to enjoy guys <laughs> just stay tuned so if you have never tried out afro romance give it a try Take your time to get to know how the dating app works. Yes, it is very, very important because at the time you know how it works, it will help you navigate through and find the right guy. So we can't end this video without hearing from the lady who found love on online dating apps her advice because i requested her to give you some advice you ladies that are on online dating apps searching and it feels good to hear it from her so you are going to hear what advice she gave to you it might help you on your online dating journey i also asked her to give you advice you beautiful ladies that are on online dating apps and when you come across an older guy, you're like, no, I'm so scared. I'm scared of people. I'm scared of my parents. <laughs> she gave you a very important advice. So listen to her advice, guys. What I would say to my fellow women is they should be um, patient. If they've been there for a very long time looking for love and they are not getting, they should believe that the one they get it. And also not to entertain any like anyone who is not serious, because me when I got there, I know people. I used to like when I set up my mind. I am someone who would if I don't know something, I try to go on, uh, online and search. And after I know, I got to know about this dating thing. I went on Google. I came on YouTube. That's where I came across your video, and I learned a lot from there. So every like anyone that I met on there who wasn't serious, I tried to like not to give you that time, not to waste my time at all. So they shouldn't let anybody waste their time. Yep. The moment they see that this person is not serious, please move on to another person and try to be nice. Try to be a lady, respect yourself, and they will respect you. You know, men want to be ladies who respect themselves. In, in a way, I'm not saying be too serious, but then, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'll say. Have patience, um, be a lady, trust in God, and they will also one day get the love of their life. Yes, thank you so much. And then, you know, when you go on a dating side, you see a lot of men who are not serious. Like, I, I, I knew it was two days when I got to the side, after two days, I nearly gave up because all the people I was getting were not serious, never serious. They would take your contact, call you the next thing you see they are holding their day. and it was i was i was already tired <laughs> just two days i was already tired but i never gave up i told myself there will be someone here who is also serious just like me so yeah it just happened and you just trust believe that they should believe they, they will get it they will get it and when you get someone you grab it you get someone who is serious you grabbed it yes okay my advice that i'll give for the ladies who are finding it difficult to do it be with older men is um one thing i i learned is that in life even if you are dating a younger guy it is all about someone who understands you love you accept you for who you are care for you and that's it these are the things that we all looking for when we are with someone so i thought of if i get that from 
an older man. Why not? Because the younger ones that I dated did not help and it was quite challenging. So why why not? So yeah, that is what I thought of. So if if they are finding it difficult to do that, they should just think about these things. If you get an older man who will do everything, who will make you happy, who will accept you, like, it's all good, yeah. It's all good. Because the younger ones, some are serious, some are not. So if you are lucky you get a younger one, good. If you are not lucky to so get an older person, don't want to, I don't see anything bad in that. Yeah, they should just, and if they don't want it, some people don't want it because if you are old, they don't even find you attractive, the love is not there, that kind of thing. Those people, you can't force them. But for me, that we, we don't care, you just accept it. Accept it as long as you are happy, that's all that matters. Yes. So, dear friends, we have come to an end of our today's video. You who have watched this video till now, Thank you so much. Be blessed. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Please, please, if you have not watched my other videos, go watch them. You are going to enjoy them so, so much and learn lots of things from those videos. <laughs> yes, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. I love you so much, guys. You are always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.